In an age where technology is integrated into almost every aspect of life, it's hard to imagine living without it. From making a phone call to using augmented reality, generally technology makes things easier and continues to advance at an incredible rate. But what will happen if technology becomes so advanced it no longer needs our input? In artificial intelligence, this is called approaching the singularity. There are many theories that try and help explain how, why, and what will happen with technology advancing at such breakneck speed, including Moore's Law. Theorized by Gordon E. Moore, co-founder of Intel, Moore's Law is a now 40-year-old prediction that the number of transistors on a chip will double about every two years. This has also been the case in not only chips, but other technology as well. Moore's Law is believed to be the indicator of when we'll reach singularity by most of the leading scientists today. According to futurist and singularity expert Ray Kurzweil, the singularity refers to a future period during which the pace of technological change will be so rapid, its impact so deep, that human life will be irreversibly transformed. Simply put, the singularity is a theory that has many interpretations, but generally relates to self-improving intelligence being able to surpass human intelligence, such as a computer becoming smarter than us and then continually learning from its mistakes, improving upon them, and so on. This is often referred to as artificial intelligence in Hollywood movies, such as The Terminator or The Matrix. What could we expect if computers became smarter than we are? Well, to understand further, I sat down and spoke with Michael Vassar via Skype, who's the president of the Singularity Institute for Artificial Intelligence. Hi, Michael. How are you? Well, thank you. So, I have a few questions. What are the pros and cons of having this self-replicating technology that's smarter than humans? The pros are that if they want the same things that we want them to want, we get it. The cons are that if they don't want the same things that we want them to want, everything of value in the universe is lost. So when exactly do you expect the singularity to occur? I'd say the probability rises gradually till around 2040, falls gradually from around 2040 to 2070, and then falls precipitously by tw after 2070. Because if we don't have computers more intelligent than us by 2070, this probably means that we're wrong about our very basic elements of our worldview, such as we think with our brains, and the world is made up of atoms. Thanks for taking the time to discuss the singularity with us. Thank you. Nice talking to you. It's a bit scary to think that these machines might reproduce on their own or create super machines that we can't control. But that's why understanding the theory is so important. There are some interesting real-world examples of computers thinking on their own, such as swarms of little bots making evolutionary decisions, a search engine that has to think on its own. Libby, what is IRC? Libby's reply. What is IRC? Internet Relay Chat or a video game-like experiment called The Restaurant Game. Play it on your own and let me know your results. Companies like Google, NASA, and the U.S. Department of Defense are in the space, trying to develop more intuitive search engines and technologies using AI. Based on research, it seems as though computers are headed towards a controlled singularity. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Post a video response, comment, or send me an email at rbtech at rocketboom.com. I'm Ellie Roundtree, and this has been Rocketboom Tech.